welcome to Make Thrift Buy. This is the series where you guys send me cute clothes that you've seen on the internet and then I try and recreate them. Well, today's episode is going to be a little bit different because the challenge for today is actually suggested by my best friend, Katie. But she does watch my videos as well, so this still totally counts. Lately, Katie's been sending me all these photos of pom-pom adorned scarves and sweaters. And then just last week, she went and found this one at a thrift store. Anyway, as soon as I saw these photos, I knew that I needed a pom-pom jumper for myself. So that's what I'm gonna try and make today. Now, of course I could just tell you to grab a sweater and some store-bought pom-poms and stick them on with some glue, but that wouldn't be very interesting. So, I'm going to be making the pom-poms from scratch. And to make some mini pom-poms, all I'm going to need is a fork, some scissors, and some yarn. I'm actually recycling the yarn from this scarf that I made about a year ago, and well, as you can see, I kind of suck at knitting. With all these holes in it, I'm never going to wear it. So I unraveled it to liberate some yarn for my pom-poms. Then, to make a pom-pom, First, I wrapped some yarn around all the prongs of the fork 35 times. Now, you would increase the amount of times you wrap the yarn around the fork for a larger pom-pom or decrease it for a smaller pom-pom. Anyway, after I'd wrapped it around 35 times, I cut the yarn off. Then, I cut myself a piece of yarn that was approximately 8 inches or 20 centimeters long, and then I pulled this piece of yarn apart into its three separate strands. Then, using one of these strands, I'm going to thread it through the middle prongs of the fork here. I wrapped it tightly around the yarn on the fork and then tied a double knot. And then to make sure that it was super secure, I threaded it back round to the front and then I tied another double knot. Then I pulled the whole thing carefully off the fork and I ended up with this little doodad. Now I'm going to cut carefully through the loops on both sides with a small sharp pair of scissors like this. And as I cut through the yarn, you can see the pom-pom starting to take shape. Now all I needed to do was to give the pom-pom a little haircut, making the strands approximately the same length all the way around and giving this pom-pom a nice round shape. Then I simply repeated this process a bunch of times to give myself a total of 16 pom-poms and a whole lot of yarn fuzz left over from the haircuts. Obviously, I also needed to choose a sweater to stick the pom-poms on. I thrifted this sweater, but it's originally from Dangerfield. Anyway, I laid the pom-poms out on the sweater like this, spacing them out evenly to get an idea of where they should go. Then, I dabbed a little bit of fabric glue on the bottom of each pom-pom and I pressed it lightly down onto the sweater just so that they would stay in place for the next part. And make sure that you put something between the front and the back layers of your sweater before doing this. I totally forgot to do this at first and then I almost glued my sweater together, which would have been a bit of a disaster. Now I'm actually going to hand sew each pom-pom onto the sweater because I don't trust just the fabric glue to hold them on. So after the glue had dried and using some cream colored thread, I sewed each pom-pom to the sweater by going up through the back of the sweater, through the middle of the pom-pom and then back down again a couple of times and then tying it off at the back. I also considered adding pom-poms to the back of the sweater, but then I decided against it because it would make sitting or lying down on the sweater really uncomfortable. I'm not just being lazy, I promise. I thought long and hard about what kind of sweater would be most comfortable. Anyway, that's it. So, how did it turn out? I love how this turned out. It's really super cute. It's also the kind of project that could easily be completed in an afternoon or craftenoon. While I had my red curly hair, I had to kind of avoid pom-poms on clothes so that I wouldn't end up looking like a clown. But now I think I can get away with it. Oh, and one thing that I wanted to mention is washing. Especially if you're using pom-poms that you've made yourself, you're gonna have to hand wash this. I've had past problems with my washing machine just totally obliterating handmade pom-poms and it's not fun. Yarn goes everywhere. But there's a lot of benefits to making your own pom-poms, which is you can vary and control the size of them. You can make multicolored pom-poms with different colored yarns. You can make giant pom-poms. Plus, I just find making your own pom-poms really relaxing. I've been really sick lately, so just being able to lie on the couch while I was watching Netflix and made myself a bunch of pom-poms was a really nice thing to do. So I'd love to see if any of you tried this out or if you add pom-poms that you've made to anything else you own. Please tag me on Instagram using the hashtag DIYAnnika. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Thank you so much to all of my patrons for helping to make this video possible. To support me on Patreon, go to patreon.com forward slash Annika Victoria.